TJ's Miss Play Right on Bad is the home of fresh and classic hits. Yeah, bless them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that song is from my guest who is live here in studio. And I see my, my, my producer is laughing at me because we require the heck of my call. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you. Anyways, yeah. uh, I'm telling you, we are having some good time right here on Palo, the home of fresh and classic hits. Yeah. Yes, Pasi. Yes, karibu sana, karibu sana. Asante, man. Yes, we are in the last hour of uh, the reset, the testimony tonight, and we are having my guest, Pastor Samukat, who is sharing his story. Mm. And uh, we were at that particular point of where you were in the service, you were actually going to perform yeah. as an artist. Uh-huh. Perform a gospel song. Yeah. In a gospel event. That's in, in a, a gospel Kesha, event. Ndiyo hiyo sasa. But you are not born again. Yeah. Kwanza nane ni kuita? <laughs> eh. Kwanipata aje ni ya kuitua? Kuna bishti yetu alikuja kwa studio. Hmm. Akatu ambia ni aje kuna hii event. Yeah. Hiyo time ilikuwa ga, tulikuwa hapo Dandora Fizz 4. Yes. Kwa, kwa hiyo studio ya Were. Yes. Sasa, haka kuja, haka tuambia ni aje kukona event. Simkuje jo mtu yangu ngalau tujaze hii badi ya maatist. Yes. To represent at a CC studio, yet to Jilko, it was a come, I'm a, an upcoming studio. So if I go there, mm-hmm. I'm just I'm not just going as an artist, I'm also going as a brand ambassador. Yes. And so um what happened is uh, we were going to represent our studio also. Mm-hmm. So uh Nikaya Kwaapo Nika Nikambi M to Angu Nikona Kasonka Moja ka gospel. Neza kuja ni pige do to one niaje. So if that streak would have gone through, yeah. I would have um I would have started a gospel journey without Christ. without Christ. And I thank God he arrested me at that time. Mm-hmm. Because what I am today really contributed, has been contributed upon mm-hmm. by that encounter. Yeah. That, that uh, heart of truth and commitment yes. That heart of sincerity, mm-hmm. that heart of honesty, yeah. that spiritual integrity mm-hmm. that I have today is because of that encounter I had in 2004. Yeah. Because I heard the voice of the Lord. I heard his voice. And he spoke deep in my heart. It was so loud. I could hear it in my ears. I could hear it inside me. And he spoke and he said, Toroka, sinata kutoroka. Hipa. Doors are shut. Lena is calling out an altar call. Yeah. I'm sitting here. Mm-hmm. I'm like God. Not now. Not now, not today. And he said, you know what to do. I told him I can't go. Sisi enda pale mbele nikaombewe bana. Akaniambia wewe unajua nini unafaa kudu. You know the way. While he is speaking, scriptures are flashing before my eyes like this. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. The word is near your mouth and in your heart. And this is the, the gospel. This is the word of God that we preach. That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, Mm. then you shall be saved. For it is with the mouth that one confesses unto salvation. Unto unto salvation. And it is with the heart that one believes unto righteousness. Is a scripture in a flash before my eyes. I was overwhelmed. I cried where I was seated. I was... While Lena is praying, Lena na yana prayer na sema, Najua uko hapo. Na kama unataka kukuja saa hii ama kuje after after nini after huyo artist amekuja ku perform we kuja tu nitakuombea lakini jua god anakuita at the same time he is speaking is the same time god is speaking to me so i decided i just said lord in fact hata sikuomba ile prayer ya sinas prayer mimi nilisema god ndio mimi huyu nimekaa basi ndio mimi huyu and I was crying. Ndiyo mimi huyu, ndiyo mimi. Nimeka mm-hmm. ni chukue basi. Chukue hii hatu basi. Ndiyo yako sasa. Santa fanya agenda ipa wapi. Zume shafunga milango. <laughs> and, and right away. God hears prayer. It is, it is not how umepanga hizo sentences. 
it is not ni vile ume believe in your heart and i just said god ni save i felt like umeshaimwagiliwa maji baridi ya karai kutoka kwa kichwa hadi kwa miguu hiyo ndio kitu nilisikia that's 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 i can describe that's what i can describe yeah. that feeling was mm. that i went through at that moment that encounter i felt like i was washed through and i felt i had a chest problem because of taking uh, you know smoking marijuana i had a chest nilikuwa na kohoa unasikia ni kama <laughs> drum inapigwa boom unajua and i in that instant moment i used to have this constant pain yes. on my chest mm-hmm. elisha immediately wow. immediately like the snap of a finger like the blinking of an eye i was healed completely i felt sober i felt i am not on i'm not high high meisha <laughs> that one was complete healing complete and instantaneous like in two seconds it's gone and at that moment while all that is happening i am the next artist <laughs> on stage <laughs> so lenawe malza kuomba anaita jina yangu hey, this is a new artist i know you've not heard about this one but i just received his name and i saw his name and i said this one is a this one is going to be something vile hata jina yake ina sound ladies and gentlemen so name, your, at that time your name was the same name samukat samukat same name mm-hmm. say hey, ladies and gentlemen on stage eh yeah, wa 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 konge akasema new artist new reggae artist Let us welcome Sambukat. Track yangu ikaekwa hapo. Cha tededen tededen. Nimeingia na mic. I performed the song crying. <laughs> Nobody knew what was happening to me. They were just seeing a good performance, a happy performance. I was to perform as a hypocrite, but now I am performing as one that has been saved, delivered. and anointed wow. at the same moment and i'm standing one that was a a hypocrite is now ministering in truth wow. and after i finish nilikuwa nime purpose nitamaliza hivi kuchapa kana nimeenda home hata singekaa kwa hiyo event aka nimamaliza hivi ku perform hivi leda akachukua mic akasema mtu yangu hiyo song imeweza ijaweza imeweza arudia sirudie arudia tukarudi karudia tena mm-hmm. akaniambia eh hey, mtu yangu jo mtu yangu chapa hiyo kitu tena i sang that song three times wow three times. three times i sang about judgment three times now the real judgment god alikuwa shani judge before ni and send to speak judgment yake kwa watu wake I realized one thing you can never speak for God if he has not spoken to you Wow you can never speak for God you can never say what he is saying if he has not said it to you first before you appear on his behalf to his people he must appear to you first and to me he appeared by a voice Is, and that is the same voice that has been speaking to me till date when i feel so down there's one time i was walking on a street and it was dangerous and the lord told me don't walk that road like loud unasikia ngai leo shall hear behind you a voice that says to you this is the way you should go i heard it literally loud we usiende huko rudi tembea ile njia pita ile njia ingine and Upon going round after obeying I had kuna msa alipigwa mnyongo lo hapo Unaisikia literally mm-hmm. Why is that idea Asema we na mimi ndio nilikuwa ga hapo mti yangu yeah. Thank God halfway mm-hmm. Kumbe ilikuwa ga alikuwa ame madingo alikuwa amengoja hapo mbele Mimi vile ni stop hivi nikarudi mbio I just stopped and returned Just had quickly don't rudi uzunguke hivi vingine nikienda home and god saved my life by a voice so i know the voice of the lord yeah. and i know 
those that carry the voice of the Lord. Yeah. I can hear. I have, the Lord has trained my ears, as Isaiah would say in Isaiah chapter 50. The Lord has trained my ears yes. to know the word that sustains the weary. So I know when one is ministering mm. and has the voice of God. And I think this is prophetic. Mm. Because prophets know. Prophets, the first mark of a prophet is discerning of spirits. You are able to discern the spirit of the Lord. Yes. When God is speaking to you, and when God has spoken to someone who is speaking, saying that the Lord has, the, or that says the Lord, mm -hmm. you are able to know that this person has God or doesn't have God. Wow. So from that moment, that is when now your life turned around. Yeah. From that time, I started a journey. It was not easy. So what about this friend that you are, you are with? He was still a friend. We were still meeting. We were still, still talking. But I told him, man, my life has changed. I love God can my year for some time. It's like I went, I started now seeking after him. Started being indoors, reading the Bible, fastings, prayings. 2005 was a, 2005, 2006 was a transformation, two transformational years for me. And uh, I wrote about these friends because back then you were a drug peddler. Yeah. So what about these friends when you come to and now? And, uh, somehow, somehow they disappear. Somehow. And some of them want to have a testimony. Okay. When you start testifying about Christ yes. and you start sharing the gospel to them, yes. they run away from you. They just, oh, me cheesy, wewe. Hey, mambo ya chaji, me shaku tupisha mba, wewe. Wena kuwacha. There is one who cried. Buda endo liko na nitichi mambo ya silasi. Sa indo umetuwacha wana. He was crying on the road, following me on the road. Shouting. Kwa, kwa lami, analia. Umetuwacha, umetubitre, wewe. And I said, God, nisa meju, siku wanajua nini na do. I was so zealous in the things of Rastafarianism. I had even started recruiting disciples. Mm -hmm. And I would tell them even the kind of music to listen to. Mm -hmm. And we were, I was so much, even right now the zeal I have for Christ, um, I believe it's, I am, I am generally a, a passionate person. Yes. Generally. Ukitembea na mimi, utakuwa passionate for prayer, utakuwa passionate na testimony ya Christ, utasikia mungu, as in, I am generally a passionate person. Mm -hmm. So, I believe Christ took that and began to use it for his glory. Mm -hmm. And so, these friends, wana, wana fall to by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Some of them, one time, kulikuwa na beshti angu moja likuja kani. Nilikuwa gana stack ya ma, hizo time tulikuwa gana ma, ma tape. Yes. Na ma, ma cassette, na ma CD. Mm -hmm. So, hiyo time, uh, he came to me and told me nilikuwa gana nilikuwa na stack ya 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 ya, ya mziki za reggae mm -hmm. and then uh, i just felt a conviction man i need to discard these things mm -hmm. so he told me hey man you say you want to discard them i said yes see you give them to me i told him ah no problem come i'll give them to you mm -hmm. so tukaenda home nikaenda nikazi stack kwa box vile music yakanga kwa kwa kikaton yeah Kazi panga fiti, kuchukua hivi kumpati, kuenda kumpati hivi. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost haka niongelesha, haka niambia, wewe na uboe, endeni kwa balcony. So we went to the balcony. Haka ambia, kuna kitu goda na niambia, na staki kumdisobe. So utu alao tu, eh, ha, tukaenda balcony. Then the Holy Spirit told me, you have to choose, because God had told me to burn those stuff. Mm -hmm to destroy those tapes mm -hmm. so that I can show him my commitment to him. There are things that Mungu atakwambia ufanye mm -hmm. inaka ufala lakini ni test ya commitment. So I I went and akaniambia you have to choose today. If you will give him or if you will obey my voice in doing what I told you to do. God had not told me to give him the, the tapes mm -hmm. because if I give him I would be giving him my, my trash and my junk. Mm -hmm. And it's like passing my iniquity to him. Zile vitu zina nikip kwa dhambi, nika nimesasa nimempatia ende nazo. Na dhambi zako, unafo upatia Christ, si upatia msi. So I, I took those steps and broke them one by one. 
kwa balcony and CDs I broke them pa pa the man cried because it was an investment ilikuwa wow. investment ya karibu karibu 8k hapo of CDs jumbo sounds mm-hmm. Capleton, all and me I used to listen to albums mm-hmm. and I would listen to song by song lyric by lyric full song yeah. I broke them there and he was crying and was like, man bob male capleton ay 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 buda acha ujinga ngawaambia ini kitu god ameniambia ni do and he walked away a disappointed man he insulted me like crazy on the road mm-hmm. but do you know what yeah. today he respects me wow. when i meet him on the road he says truly what you did hiyo yeah. ni mungu alikuambia ufanye and so friends will come mm-hmm. and uh, friends will will tell you ah, wewe tumekupatia mezi sita mm-hmm. tumekupatia mezi saba yeah. wakiona mezi saba mpita zuma, the end of him mwaka itaisha mm-hmm. and sometimes i would even, i would even get tempted i remember 2005 i fell into temptation several times mm-hmm. because i was an, an addict yeah. and i was struggling with the addiction of bang mm-hmm. And, and i was struggling even with pornography and masturbation yes. i was tr- especially drugs i was really struggling because unapita hivi kachuom unapata ndio kamewakishi wa mtu yangu ako kaarufu kana kuita tu kana kuita unakasongea hivi anakuambia mtu yangu awe we najua naona hiyo kiu ndani yako shika piga kamoja na for sure nitaka piga <laughs> <laughs> But right now unapiga na kapiga kwa umeokoa. Eh bwana, na unaenda home guilty unasikia ai 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 nini nini nimefanya. And I would tell God I'm so sorry. I would cry until God began to now sift me. And he began to tell me now if you want to overcome these things mm-hmm. you have to change your company. Mm-hmm. You have to change the locations. Mm-hmm. The places where you are found you have to be rare. Mm-hmm. You have not to be found everywhere. Mm-hmm you usiende base unakaa tu base na my boys yeah. toka huko toka base toka wapi be found in the house of god and i would go to the house of god i would fast for days yeah. in church mm-hmm. praying and seeking god reading the bible sometimes i would wait till usiku kabisa mali hakuna wasazili hakuna wase so that i can read out the bible out loud so that iniongeleshe kwa mind yangu it change mind yangu that's how i've been i've gotten even to cram some scriptures mm-hmm because i would read them i would pray read the scriptures mm-hmm. it is called outward meditation mm-hmm. when you start praying and you're looking at the scriptures and you're reading the scriptures verbatim that is that is what is called outward meditation and it worked on my mind it trained me to think i started becoming a problem solver wow. i started becoming a biblical counselor wow people would come to me in church and tell me hey man i'm struggling with this and this i dreamt this and this I would read I, there is a time that I was stuck in Genesis for one year mm-hmm. just reading the book of Genesis mm-hmm. and I was studying Joseph and I got to learn how to interpret dreams yeah. through studying Joseph yeah. and Daniel mm-hmm. I would read them every night every day mm-hmm. I would read Genesis 37 to 50 yeah. and Daniel 1 to 9 mm-hmm. I would read them verbatim 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 until i kastik kwa mind yangu the flow of events yeah. i study I've, i'm even finishing a book on on uh, uh, on dream i called dream a destiny lessons from joseph's experience mm-hmm. i'm finishing a book on that i'll be doing a launch on that very very soon yes. tutawaita manzita uh, kwa mradi sure. sana tutawaita tu partner na nyinyi mnisaidie ku launch hiyo kitabu bana yes. so it will be a blessing so yani uh, i became a solution giver yes. through the word of god yes. the word can mold you yeah. and make you and 2007 mm-hmm. no 2006 yeah. december mm-hmm. i preached my first message wow i preached my first message wow. started going on missions mm-hmm. started going to preach in kesha yeah. that's when now god began to open doors for me people would come bless me with suits my mother bought me a bible Uh, I started walking with friends mm-hmm. lakini nilikuwa na shida moja ya kusahau yeah. <laughs> because of bang yeah. I would go and uh, unajua hiyo kitu bado inakoga bado inakuwa scrapped off yeah. wanasema it takes seven years eh? mm-hmm. I think I'm delivered now it's more than seven years wow. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm 
just here listening to your story and I'm like <laughs> God God can just change your story with just a blink of an eye. Yeah. God just can. The, just actually just the other day you are just doing uh, you're doing drugs and now you are here. Now I'm here God preaching the gospel. Wacha nikwambie hizo time ningesahau my bible nilikuwa na shida ya kusahau mti wangu mpaka nilikuwa naenda home na lia mm. because you know eh, marijuana that smoke yeah. is when it goes into your bloodstream mm. when it goes in excess yeah. eh, ina affect neurons ina affect mind mm. na ina affect hata vile brain yako ina function yeah. so i used to forget a lot mm-hmm. i would place keys on a table i forget mm-hmm. i go home i have to break the door mm-hmm. And then I would go to prayer meetings I forget who was carrying my bible or who was carrying my my you know my face towel and I lost many many bibles and face towels because guys would you know and those times I used to pray and yeah. guys was walikuwa nataka anointing ya samu kat mtu yangu mzee akishashika bible yangu hivi kuna boy alikuja kan confess here akaniambia Hey, mtu yako ile siku mimi ndio nilikuwa nakuasha nilikuwa na pray usao bible yako mm-hmm. nikaenda na bible yako katoloni siku tatu nikaambia Mungu <laughs> nipatie hii anointing ya prayer sababu katako nayo wow and kasema man sasa kama uli baba ibo mtu yangu Mungu atakusikia kweli la uli wewe ni mwizi <laughs> but anyway he confessed mm-hmm. And I told him it's okay. And he showed me. Ndio hii. Na sikupei. So really, so it in other words, God began to give me influence. He began to give me um, I began to operate in authority. Yes. And I began to see grace at work mm. in my life mm. to bring people into Christ. I have seen the dead raised. I have seen uh, swellings go down. Yes. I've seen miracles. I have seen kuna unaelea mtu mkono uvimbe inaisha. Mm-hmm. I have seen uh, um one time my mother alikuwa miguu zake zilikuwa it was like it was like a half paralysis. Yes. Alikuwa ameshindwa kutembea mm-hmm. and she was bedridden for about about four days. And they didn't know what it is. Yeah. And I I went and locked myself and I in the in her bedroom mm-hmm. and I took a stool sat on it and said I will God I'm not moving from here mm-hmm. until you heal my mother and I prayed I was praying in tongues I was praying in known language and known language pray reading the scriptures I was shutting my eyes and praying and I didn't know she woke up opened the door went to the loo and came back Wow. and sat there waiting for me to finish to pray. Wow. So when I was praying I just felt like a figure is sitting before me. Unajua ile ukifunga macho na kuna ka light unasikia ni kama kuna kamse hapa hivi. So when I opened my my eyes nikastuka nikafikiria hiki hii ni deception ya devil because my mother was sitting there looking at me and I was like no this is deception. Nikafunga macho tena nikaendelea dakika zingine 15. Na nikafungua macho vizuri ndio nikaona eh yenyewe huni mother ameka hapa. Yeah. And she told me my legs are working. Yeah. Wow. And I said God, praise God. Yes. So these are these are some of the testimonies that God ana to build here. When you begin walking in truth. Mimi mm. nakwambia Israel, haku we, Bible says no good thing shall the Lord withhold mm. from them that walk uprightly. What is walking uprightly that is walking in sincerity in honesty in accountability in integrity in truth those that worship the father yeah. must worship him in the spirit Indeed. and in truth mm-hmm. paul says in romans mm-hmm. chapter 9 verse 1 god is my witness yeah. whom i serve with my spirit you serve him with your spirit yeah. Serving him out of your spirit ni nini with your spirit ni nini sincerity na truth so it is when ukiamua ku walk in truth you are walking with your whole being hawezi mm-hmm. kuona shauti ya watu huko you might not have the loudest prayer you might not have the the most charismatic look when you are or that spiritual charismatic look mm-hmm. but 
when you decide I will walk in truth, in honesty, in sincerity, that is uprightness. And that is what God is looking for. God is not looking for charisma. Mm -hmm. He's not looking at people that were, I have charisma. Najua? Yeah. Niko na zili ya mungu. Lakini God that after you. Mm -hmm. God that after nini? Truth. Ya hati. Yeah. Yani ya kismama na wevi, anakuwa na mbaka ndani ya hati yako. Na anaona kweli, hati yako iko kama hati yake. Apondi aliambia Saul that eh, I have, aliambia Samuel, I have found me a man. Yeah. After my own heart. Hiyo after my own heart. Siyo God chesa. After my own heart ina manishaji. Vile hati ya God iko. Sincere. True. Na open. Hiyo ndiyo hati ya David iko. So God akambia je. So Samuel and I will anoint David. And I believe that is the seat. That is the storehouse of the anointing. Truth and sincerity. You will never run dry. Amen. Wow. That is a transformed life. Mm. That is a transformed life. Mm. And I know, maybe someone is listening right now and I know I'm like, wow. Kwa hivyo neza kwa niku church. I might be going to church. Maybe I was raised in a Christian background and my father and my mother, they take me to church but sija jua Christ on my own. Mm. Or maybe you are, kuna ula watu wana believe in self-deception that I mean, mimi okoka, mimi na jua kongo. Hey, manze. But see you, God. Mm. But now today we may to narrate down that the most important thing is to have that personal relationship with God. Mm. The heart. Especially while I say we may grow your church. Yeah. I would rather ukwe ni mtu likuwa wa world na ume ingia church. Mm. No na? Yeah. Kuliko weu ume grow life yako yote mm. kwa church na ujui yeah. mungu. Wow. Because of sincerity wow. issues. Mm. Once you hold that thought there, I just want us to take a very short break. Yes. When we come back, we continue shortly with the story even and also we'll be praying together. Amen. Because I do believe that if someone is listening and maybe is going through the same thing. Mm. Or maybe if someone is listening and is struggling with drugs, someone yes. is struggling with fornication. Na mm. kwa church, maybe ama amesikianga gospel, but ajai kwa convicted to So I want you to be praying with them. In the next few minutes, we'll be praying together. And also, we'll be continuing this story. And also, pass that we'll be able to meet wife. Bana jo. Mtu yangu ashari ndio ministry. Ukitaka marie jingia kwa ashari. Okay, we'll be taking a very short break when we come back. We continue with the testimony right here. We'll be able to do the home of fresh and classics. But right now, Casting Crowns who are live.